since the last time I bought the light stuff. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, a show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning good. And today's episode is what I call a proverbial slam dunk, a home run. A realization that the boy and his blob can be beaten in under three minutes if you just turn the blob into a rocket and went left. I guess what I'm saying is, it's easy. Harry Michael Ian Taylor asks, please do one for when the liquid floats from tachyon particles. Well, righty dokey, matey, bloke, flap old, salty, sea dog amigo, skipjack, jockstrap, piano tuner. Now, for all my international English is your second language viewers who just wondered what the hell I said, it was complete nonsense, so never mind. Oh, Elaine, that was gibberish. In order to complete this effect, you need to shoot your actor holding a cup straight to camera, making sure you can't see inside it. You'll also need to download the fluid clip I made in Cinema 4D. It's rendered out in 4K, all alpha channeled and ready to go. Now today, I'll only be showing you how to make the liquid float from your cup. If you'd like me to do a tutorial for Cinema 4D, showing you how I made the liquid, sound off in the comments, because just like with this effect, it's not as hard as it looks. To After Effects! Okay gang, let's get to it. Now you may have noticed a slight change. That's because this is Film Learning's first episode being made in After Effects CC. But don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you CS users. There is a method for you as well. As you can see, I have my clip already in a comp and ready to go. Our first step will be applying a motion mask to the top of the cup. In order to do that, let's hit Control D to duplicate our footage, head up, grab the pen tool, and draw a nicely detailed mask around the rim of that cup. We'll then cut it off around here. Next, if you're using After Effects CC, right click on your mask and click Track Mask. We'll then head over to the tracker and hit the play button. Now this may take some time, but when it's done, your cup mask will now be tracked to your footage. How cool is that? You don't have to do anything else. From there, let's hit F and feather that out, say, two pixels. Looks pretty cool, eh? Hmm? Hmm? Now if you're in CS6 or lower, it's a little bit more of a pain. First off, we have to head up, add a new null object, then with our top footage selected, go to Tracker and hit Track Motion. I'm selecting a part of the cup here to track. That'll do. We'll then hit the play button. Then, if you're happy with your track, let's edit the target to our null, hit apply, and OK. We'll then head up, grab a new solid, and turn it off. From there, grab that pen tool again, and draw a mask around the top lip of the cup, exactly like we did just before. We'll then turn on the solid, select the null, solid, and the footage, right click, and select pre-compose. We'll then open that pre-comp, and parent the solid to our null. We'll then right click and pre-compose that solid once more. This time we'll change the transfer mode to stencil alpha. We now have the same motion mask as in CC. Pretty neat, huh? Let's then hit F to feather it out, say two pixels. Okay, time to add our fluid. Let's drag and drop our fluid file under our top footage layer. Now since I've rendered this all in 4K, we just have to use the scale and position controls to get it exactly where we need it. Mm, that's pretty good. Just make sure it's not coming out of either side of our cup. We'll then hit T and turn the opacity down a little since, you know, liquid's supposed to be transparent. And since this fluid's in the foreground, let's head up to Effect, Blur and Sharpen and add a camera lens blur. We'll just leave this on the default 5 setting or you can have a play if you want. This just smooths out the effect so it doesn't look too fake. Now my last step, just to match it into the scene a little bit better, is to head up to Effect, Color Correction and add a Curves. And since I've got a little bit of green fall off on the other side of my face, I'm just going to head up and grab the green settings and just pump them up a little bit. That looks pretty good. And that's it. Let's check out a preview. Excellent. Now, say you don't want that colour of your drink. Say you want a green drink or an orange drink or a blue drink. Easy. Just head up to Effect, Colour Correction and add a Hue and Saturation. That way you can have a play with these settings and get whatever colour you want. It is really that easy, guys. Add up all of those steps and you'll get something like this. Well, that's the last time I buy the light stuff. So that's the Tachyon Particles Floating Liquid Effect. See, I told you it was easy, and whether you have After Effects CC, or CS6, or CS4, or just a ham sandwich stuck to a keyboard, it's not that hard to customise it for your own shot. But that's our show guys, if you enjoyed it, please like and share the video, if you're new here, click that subscribe button, 
Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook for previews of upcoming episodes. And until next week, when I get a little hot under the collar, keep learning.